I think a natural Samsulek would be a godsend. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today I want to speak about the Sam Sulek phenomenon. Of course, when I asked people who they were here to see, the most common name was... Sam Sulek, okay. he's my dog. Sam. Sam pretty much. I really want to see Sam. Is he a blessing or a curse for our fitness community? If I heard about Sam Sulek around 6-7 months ago, one of my young clients actually, he mentioned about this guy, he's very famous. Uh, on YouTube, Instagram, all the social media platforms. Uh, he's quite young, he's huge, he eats whatever he wants and he still get the results. And first thing I had in my mind, I said like, mm, okay, this guy must be, you know, another roid head. And then once I looked at his uh, content, I mean, come on, let's face it, the guy is uh, using stuff even though he never uh, spoke about it or mentioned about it. But uh, I could feel that you know, my client told me that it's his idol, he has his dream physique, he'd like to look like that one day. Yeah, at the end of the day, you know, Sam Sulek is huge on social media. But if you think about it, he didn't really achieve anything. He didn't compete, it, you know, he didn't, doesn't have any title or anything like that. Yeah, I guess just the algorithm made him famous which is a big thing nowadays. So now he gets all the contracts, he gets, you know, lots of money, he gets all the spotlight in the fitness industry, which is great, right? And people are obviously drawn to that. They want to be like him, famous like him, to look like him and live the lifestyle, uh, basically. I had an opinion back then and then I waited until I actually saw him in real life, until I saw him in person and I had the opportunity to see him at the Arnold Classic uh, Expo here in the UK, which was just a few weeks ago. He held a seminar, photo exhibitions with the fans. Yeah, I saw him, I listened to him a little bit because now I feel like I have a bit more information and I actually saw the guy in real life. So yeah, this guy is really young. He's only 21 uh, years old. The, the positives I already mentioned. He's influencing people to go to the gym, to train. But on the flip side, lots of people will realize that yes, some unfortunately, he is not natural. He's only 21 years old and is shocking more so when you see him in real life, how aged his skin looks, how, you know, even though he's 21, his facial structure, facial features look so much older than he actually is. I mean, you guys, you can, you know, have a look. Uh, I mean, at the videos which I shown over here uh, with him from the expo. Do you think he's 21 or would you say he's a little bit older than that? You know, and the skin as well, like very thick skin, like almost looks like a frog is obvious. Uh, signs of anabolic steroids uh, use, uh, maybe even abuse. This is, I think, a very big negative because he's not speaking about what he's doing. I mean, I get it. He's in the US. This stuff is illegal and is like a double-edged sword. You can speak about it, you know, people will appreciate that, obviously, but then you can get in trouble with the law enforcement. Sponsors will not give him the contracts. So he chooses to stay silent, does his own thing. Fortunately, people are getting the wrong influence because of that. Because they all want to be like him. They all want to you know, look like him. And they know in order to get to that level, you have to take anabolic steroids. So more and more people, even my younger clients, yeah, who like him and follow him, they want to be like him. They want all this cloud, you know, social media cloud. They want to look like him, they want the body and everything. And some of them, you know, they are actually willing to take the extra step. Even uh, there have been some interviews uh, in other expos with people who ask like, who's your favorite influencer? Sam Sulek, Sam Sulek, Sam Sulek. Would you take steroids to look like him and to, you know, be famous? And say, yes, 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 yes. And unfortunately, some of these people will actually take the step. Because nowadays it's so easy to and it's so easily accessible to get these kind of drugs. It's a shame because fitness is not about that. Fitness is about health, is about improving yourself, it's about living a long, fulfilling, healthy, energized life, not pushing drugs into in your body, not uh, oh no, overdosing on on this uh, kind of stuff in order to get huge muscular and from 1000 people who are trying to do that maybe one or a few of them will be uh, famous one day and the others you know will just take all these side effects all these drugs will just get the side effects and they will fuck up their lives and some people because they are more sensitive 
They can just do just one cycle and one simple cycle can change someone's life forever. It can mess up their hormonal system and if their endocrine system shuts down or starts to act weird, that's it, you're done. You might be uh, eligible for TRT for the rest of your life, but you're only in your teens or early 20s and then, then what? You have all this life ahead of you and you have to live with the consequences. I wish some would address this to a certain extent because that list will give his followers a perspective and if he's so influential, speaking about this will obviously have an effect on his, uh, on his viewers. I mean, this was probably wishful thinking, but I wish some would just go cold turkey, would become natural and they would say, hey guys, I've done this. This is the shape I managed to, to get to but I'm done with it, you know, I'm gonna be natural from now on and here is my journey as a natural athlete. I want to do this, you know, for the health, for health reasons and I want to get this army of natties behind, uh, behind him just so that he makes the, our fitness industry a better place. Probably that's not gonna happen, that's just wishful thinking, but I think we need a natural Sam Sulek, even if he's not Sam Sulek, but a natural version of Sam Sulek, a true natural, because, you know, the fitness industry is full of fake natties, that's a totally different subject. But anyway, I think a natural Sam Sulek would be a godsend. <laughs> he's a blessing, but he's a big curse at the same time for our fitness industry. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I hope this video doesn't come across as hateful or I'm trying to bash Sam or I'm trying to put him down. No, I'm just looking after my young clients, I'm looking after my young um, viewers and you know the people who follow me from my gym. If you have an opinion, please write it down below. I'd love to hear it. Other than that, look after yourself, stay natural. You can get some really good gains. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.